A Late Triumph, Cindy Adams' Journey to Her High School Diploma In an inspiring turn of events, legendary New York Post columnist Cindy Adams has demonstrated that age is no barrier to achieving lifelong goals. At 94, Adams was honored with a special ceremony for receiving her high school diploma from Andrew Jackson High School in Cambria Heights, Queens. This milestone, reported by the New York Post, marks the culmination of a remarkable career and personal journey spanning over four decades. Adam's story is deeply rooted in the cultural norms of the 1940s, a time when women's education often included courses like home economics, which required practical skills such as sewing. Adams candidly recalls her inability to sew her graduation dress, a prerequisite for completing the course. Despite hiring a local tailor to create the dress, her efforts were thwarted by a discerning principal who refused to accept the garment. This incident effectively barred her from graduating, attending college, and as her principal ominously declared, ever going anywhere. Despite this setback, Adams carved out a legendary career in journalism, becoming one of New York's most iconic gossip columnists. Over 40 years, she has chronicled the lives of the city's elite, earning a reputation for her fairness and integrity. Her tenacity and candidness have made her a respected figure in the journalism community. The ceremony commemorating Adams' achievement was attended by notable figures, including NYC Mayor Eric Adams, New York Governor Kathy Hochul, and her longtime friend, Judith Scheindlin, better known as Judge Judy. Scheindlin praised Adams for her dedication and loyalty, highlighting the columnist's enduring impact on those around her. Adams' reflections on her career are marked by humility. Speaking to NY1, she attributed her success not to her intelligence or talent, but to her fairness and honesty. This modest self-assessment belies a career built on keen observation, sharp wit, and an unwavering commitment to the truth. While Cindy Adams' story is undeniably inspirational, it also serves as a critical lens through which we can examine the educational and societal norms of the past. The rigid requirements of the home economics course and the principal's harsh judgment reflect a bygone era's limited opportunities for women. Adams' experience underscores the systemic barriers that many women faced, which often stifled their potential and ambitions. Moreover, the ceremony honoring Adams raises questions about the recognition of life achievements. While it is commendable that she finally received her diploma, it also prompts us to consider how society values different forms of success. Adams' illustrious career arguably provided her with more education and experience than a high school diploma ever could. Her story is a testament to the idea that formal education, while important, is not the sole determinant of one's worth or achievements. Cindy Adams' journey to receiving her high school diploma at the age of 94 is a powerful narrative of perseverance and resilience. It highlights her remarkable career and the societal changes that have occurred since her youth. Her story serves as an inspiration, reminding us that it is never too late to pursue our dreams and that the value of a person extends far beyond formal qualifications. Adam's life and career stand as a testament to the enduring power of honesty, fairness, and relentless pursuit of one's goals.